Continuing their trend of bringing new life to their IP, THQ Nordic remade Destroy All Humans. Originally released in 2005, this game was all about causing chaotic mayhem fun with the technology of extraterrestrial life forms. In many ways, this remake recaptures that early 2000s AA game feeling while elevating the visuals to a whole new level. The plot behind Destroy All Humans is straightforward and only really acts as a plot device to provide a foundation for the gameplay. Aliens are slowly dying out and have begun to clone themselves while they seek out some sort of solution. Luckily, they came across planet Earth, a planet with the exact DNA construct that they need in order to survive. Thus, our invasion of humanity begins. It's not the most fleshed out story, but it isn't a narrative driven game either. It does what it needs to in order to provide that sandbox destruction experience and that's where the real meat and potatoes are. Destroy All Humans is broken up into missions taking place all over planet Earth. These missions take you to all sorts of places from the Midwest farmland to the sunny California coastside. Each of these missions is constructed around sandboxes filled with humans perfect for extracting DNA from, or just abducting. Usually the missions had me extracting DNA, pretending to be a human figurehead, or just straight up destroy everything in sight. With alien technology, these all become pretty darn fun as the toolset at our disposal is a nerd's dream. Our Zapray lets us pop out the heads of humans, our psychic powers let us carry just about anything, and our hologram device lets us impersonate any other human. That's of course just scratching the surface. At the end of each mission, the DNA we've collected is used as a currency to further upgrade our toolset or our spaceship. Speaking of which, of course we have a spaceship. It acts as a buffer between missions where we're on the ground causing havoc. When we're in the spaceship, we're usually tackling military forces while also eradicating everything in sight. I guess that's why it's called Destroy All Humans, and arguably enough it almost feels like a Godzilla Destroy All Monsters game. The mix and match between these two gameplay types, complete destruction and partial stealth, was a nice variety of gameplay. However, I'd be lying if I said it didn't feel a bit repetitive or shallow throughout the 10 hours of gameplay. For example, a new mission taking place on a military site experimenting on alien technology was a cub mission from the original game, now fully restored in this one. Now if that wasn't advertised to me before, I wouldn't have known because it fits that much into the gameplay formula, but it doesn't really stand out for being innovatively new either. Where this remake really stands out is in its visual upgrade that honestly looks way better than I expected. I'd put this on par with the recent remakes of Crash and the Spyro trilogies. Cutscenes have been completely redone with a new look to the point that even the framing is redone, looking a bit more cinematic than its predecessor. When in gameplay, there's a better sense of life to the environment. Fields of grass and crops don't feel flat anymore. Characters look much more lively and the destruction is more beautiful than ever. The thing that could have used a bit more work is the human character models that look a bit bland at times and repeat across the same environments. It feels like a remnant of technology in 2005 and in 2020, I feel like some variety in NPCs could have been made. Where the visuals were immensely improved for this remake, the audio remains largely untouched. The developers behind this title mentioned that there have been some quality improvements to the original game's audio, but to my ear, it sounds roughly the same. It's pretty easy to tell that this audio wasn't recently redone, though that in itself would be challenging while keeping the same voice actors of course. Speaking of actors, since the audio is being reused, all the original voice actors are still here. Richard Horvitz from Invader Zim fame once again reprises his role here and fits perfectly into this world as an alien. John Albrecht on the other hand sounds more like Duke Nukem than a believable alien and his performance feels a bit out of place back then and still now. Destroy All Humans is a solid remake of the original, paying homage to the series' roots of destruction fun while upping the presentation for modern standards. Some of the writing doesn't hit as hard as it used to, and some jokes just straight up fall flat. It still at times feels like a game from 2005, both for better and for worse, but with fans of the series in mind, I'm sure the good outweighs the bad. Sure, some of the writing doesn't really hold up anymore with some of the jokes just straight up falling flat, but if you've longed for a return to this double-A experience, this remake does more than an okay job at recapturing the nostalgia and the entertainment. Thank you.